Hello Pisces, welcome to your quick and general reading. We are doing a career and money review. How are you? I'd like to welcome uh, all new and seasoned viewers. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shamla Tan and I am a spiritual teacher and intuitive therapist. And uh, on this day, I hope to give you some clarity with regards to your career and money situation. Okay, so Pisces, we are doing a five card reading and uh, we're going to see what is going on, right, for your career and money review. So let's pick the five cards. One. <laughs> all right. Let's see. That was the card. Let's see. We can't have all the cards. Sorry. So all oh, this reading is going to be a super long reading if we use all the cards. So let's see. Um, number two. We, we need the strongest messages for Pisces. So whichever the strongest let it surface okay and we are going to pick one from this oracle deck and this is a message from spirit all of these cards have been shuffled thoroughly already before i hit record so okay and this is a message from spirit and we are going to use this deck as a clarifier or for more information let's look at the first card your financial state and this will be the, um, you know, financial state, like when energies that you're entering into or what you're experiencing right now. And we have the devil energy, right? So the devil energy talks um, about how you are maybe not happy or discontented with your current situation, uh, which is fine. So here in this reading, we want clarity, right? So if you're not happy with your current situation, or not happy with your career, um, let's see what comes up for you. Um, there is a need for you to build your social network, your social capital. There's a need for you to build your confidence. Uh, also believe in your uh, dreams, you know, your passionate dreams, your creative side of you that, you know, this part of you is important. Um, the devil also sometimes signifies that we may be stuck in a situation, like we want to get out. So maybe for some of you, it's like you're stuck in a job, you don't really enjoy. And, you know, so the advice given to you is that there is a need for you to build your self-confidence and also uh, to let go of things that do not serve you. That's the three of sorts. Three of sorts is usually about loss or hurt or feeling broken some sort of emotional pain. So you may be feeling, because you're tied in the situation, maybe feeling the pain, the grief every day, right? Like you're not enjoying yourself, right? In your career or in your business. And, and that affects how you make money, okay? That this is very interesting. Let's look at the second card, uh, Pisces. Second card is perhaps, wow, <laughs> we have the sun. Uh, new source of income. So you do have a new source of income. You have the sun shining very brightly. I would encourage you, Pisces, if you are not ready or you're not able to leave your current job or current business, look for side hustle, right? The sun is shining very brightly. It's highly, highly supportive of this side hustle that you have in mind, but maybe you have not had the uh, courage to do it or you don't have the know-how to do it. It's time. This card tells you that if you're looking for a sign to tell you when to start, this is the sign. This is the time. Okay. Let's see. Can we have more information about this new and wonderful side hustle or part-time job or something that you've been thinking? Wow. Very nice. There's a lot of movement. It is in the area of communication. Now, communication is not limited to, I mean, communication is very, very wide, right? Very, very vast. Uh, so it could be, Anything in the area of communication, I can't even I can't even streamline it, right? So I, I leave you to think about this, okay, Pisces. I leave you to think about it. What is it that you can do? Um, maybe the communication is talking about social media, or maybe talking about creating a new YouTube channel or something like that, right? But your immediate action is required. So even you've, you've been sitting on this idea for a long time, there is a need for you to get on with it, okay? Because the energies are highly supportive of this new side hustle thing that you're thinking about. Oops, sorry, the dog just barked. Okay, 
And so uh, do not allow the lack mindset, right? Uh, or fear mindset to stop you. You have to be persistent. Okay, don't, don't spend too much of your time worrying and be apathetic. Wow, the energy of worry and ap apathy is really strong here. So I feel as if you have been thinking about moving, changing job or having a new side hustle or something, but you are not moving. You are feeling very apathetic. You are just, you're not happy, but you're still staying there and you're feeling very unfulfilled, right? So... Um, make use of the energy of the sun for this new thing that you want to do, right? Side hustle. Nothing wrong in doing that. Anything, you know, I mean, I feel everyone needs a side hustle. The, the, the reason is because we are coming, I mean, we're entering such a different phase of our human consciousness right and it's so easy now to set up side hustles so i highly encourage you to do that because that not only helps you in your money situation it helps you in your personal growth okay all right so let's see opportunities to consider and we have the eight of cups um did you just recently let go of an opportunity because you're afraid no, that's the message coming up. Let's let's get another card so that I have some clarity. That seems to be saying that you have you have walked away from an opportunity that presented itself. And then you okay, so you have a you have a decision to make, right? It was a difficult decision. You have to weigh your options. Um, but I feel that one thing very important for you. Uh, with regards to that particular option that you are maybe thinking of walking away or tempted to walk away is that you need more information. With more information, you can make better decision. Okay? You, you need to spend more time with this decision because you don't have enough information. And that's why you may be feeling confused. You may be wishy-washy about this. Uh, it may not be time to walk away. Let's see. Can we have one more cut? Three of Cups. Okay. Good. Um, now, if this thing that you are about to walk away has to do with a project of uh, collaboration, connection, where you have um, community support or support from friends and you are in your happy space where you can create, right? Um, it would be a right one for you. I'm getting goosebumps as I'm saying this. It would be a right one for you. Okay, so maybe you're overthinking it. Know that the sun is guiding you. Okay, and you'll be fine. Don't, don't allow your fears to hold you back. Now, I'm curious to see what is this one. This one is, wow, you have apathy again. So you're going back and forth. You are going back and forth, Pisces. It's like you feel inspired one day. You say, okay, I'm going to do this. And then you hold yourself back. And then here again, you know, if you inspire, you go like, oh, I see the opportunity. And then you hold yourself back again. Um, we need more information. How can Pisces move out of this? It seems like the sun card is not enough. Like you're not even trusting the sun card, sun energy. And we have the ace of wands, right? This is about inspiration ignited passion a new projects coming your way grab it if it ignites you grab it wow you're gonna have success there is public recognition even so when you move out of that space of like wishy-washiness move out of the space of apathy move out of the space of fear you will have victory look at this you have ace of wands telling you um new opportunity, creative spark, right? Enthusiasm. And then six of wands is about success and public recognition. You are going to be recognized for it. Um, you're going to feel your confidence growing again. Pisces, it's time, it's time. All right, do not go back and forth. Justice, very good. So this is final outcome, right? So justice energy is about fairness, is about um, every effort that you put in will give you the results that you're looking for. 
this is a very yin yang. This is a very uh, I wouldn't say yin yang. It's a very um, a cause and effect kind of card. It means that whatever you put in, you get back. So if you put in a lot of energy into something, you get it back. So let's say the new project you want to do, you want to work with people, you want to, you know, ignite this new project, have the creative spark, be happy about it. You will get it back. Whatever hard work you put in, you will get back. I feel this. Okay, sorry, the cat is coming my way. I need to stop him. <laughs> okay, so let's see. More information about justice. Nine of Cups, very nice. Fulfillment, richness, right? You will, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, this makes sense. Eight of Pentacles is about you having to work very hard, right? For this thing, this new project that you feel inspired to do, this new inspiration, you do need to work hard and you will get the justice, which means you will get back what you put in. It makes sense. And then you will feel fulfilled. You will feel, you will you really enjoy it. There's a sense of, satisfaction and that's most important because when you get that everything flows right when you when you feel satisfied when you feel happy with how life is turning out for you when you are able to express yourself then you feel that life is abundant and what will happen is you open the doors for greater abundance financial abundance even to flow in let's see message from spirit for you have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. I have no words to express what has just <laughs> happened, right? This particular message from Spirit is telling you exactly what we've been saying in this entire reading, right? It's, ne it's necessary for you to uh, really uh, switch your mindset, you know, to be much more positive. Look at the sun, right? Sun is like super, is the most positive card in the entire tarot deck, the most powerful one with a lot of positive energies. All right. Trust in yourself, Pisces. Trust in yourself. I look forward to your next reading. Have a wonderful time ahead. Take good care until the next one. God bless.